subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss a video from the YouTube channel Electro Shuber. Hey, what's up, guys? Shuber. <coughs> Hey, what's up guys, Shumar, I'm back with another video and today in this video I'm going to show you how to use your DSLR camera as a webcam for your computer. Now I face this problem because I want to FaceTime with my friends from my computer and I don't have a webcam. Because I don't want to spend a couple of bucks on a webcam because I don't need it every day and I already have a DSLR camera. So I thought why don't I use my DSLR camera as my webcam for my computer. So let's get started and see how to do that. So guys here I have the software and the software is called SparkoCam and you can download this software from the website and it's for free. So here's the website of SparkoCam. Uh, so you can directly click on the download button over here and as you can see it's a 46.81 megabytes uh, of file is this. And on the right side here as you can see there is a system requirements there so you make sure you read the, all these system requirements before downloading. Just click on download and it will start downloading. And install the software. And it's a very simple installation and after installing just open the software, here it is, the Sparkle Cam software. So I'm going to open the software. Alright, so as you can see here, the software is opened up. So here we have a small window, pop-up window and it says uh, it's not licensed. So um, if you want to use it for free, you can use it but it will give you a watermark on the screen. As you can see, it says sparklesoft.com. So there will be a watermark. So if you're if you're okay with this watermark, then you can use it for free. And if you want to remove this watermark, you can buy this software by clicking on the buy button over here. And the buy button is also there on the top as well. But I don't want to buy it right now. I, I just just click on try button and it will start. And I can use this software for free. So as you can see, there's a black screen as of now because I haven't connected my camera to the computer. So let me just very quickly connect my uh, Canon DSLR camera to my computer and I'm switching on the camera Hope you can hear the noise of the shutter camera and also as you can see I also have the EOS utility software installed in my computer That's why this pop-up window is here. So I don't want to open this Canon EOS utility software I'm, I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna quit this and uh, As you can see here, it says Canon camera by default. It will automatically recognize your camera in my case also I'm going to click on Canon camera button uh, over here and as you can see um, here I am uh, so as you can see here now this camera is detected by the software and now I can use my DSLR camera as a webcam and this software can do a lot of things it also have a lot of effects uh, let me just show you uh, there's a lot of effects over here so I have the transform effect that means I can zoom in and zoom out uh, digitally from the software uh, I'm going to disable this also as you can see here behind me I have a green screen so I can change this green screen uh, live uh, in the software so for example over here as you can see it says green green screen options I'm going to click on that and I'm going to first of all enable this enable this and as you can see here behind me the green screen is changed to the wallpaper I already selected before if you want to change the wallpaper you can click on this browse, browse button and you can change the wallpaper whatever you want for example I'm going to select this dice and here we go and also at the bottom as you can see you can change all the settings of, of, of green screen as you can see my hair is, is kind of different looking not nice so I can change all the settings as you can see now now it looks pretty fine uh, so you can you can play with this with this setting and properly green screen live uh, while you're doing whatever the video chat video video calling whatever you're doing you can do that let me just show you that uh, now this computer has a webcam so all the softwares in this computer which requires webcam can easily run now for example the default uh, windows 10 camera application requires webcam so i'm going to search for camera here is the camera application as you can see guys so as you can see guys this this computer is detecting the software uh, this dsl camera as a webcam so i can even take picture so anyways this is how you use your dsl camera as a webcam for your computer hope you guys like it bye bye so this is guys thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed if you really enjoyed the video please hit the like button also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also watch my other videos from here and do let me know what you guys think about this video in the youtube comment section and also give me suggestions for my next video till then bye bye take care have a nice day peace out